Hey, I'm Chris, and this is my 2JZ next to me. Um, this is a 2JZ GTE VVTi out of a Toyota Aristo. Uh, as you can see, the head is currently missing. It's been at the machine shop getting cleaned up, got shimless buckets, uh, springs and retainers, and cams installed. This engine was actually in my Lexus IS300 for about a year, making close to 500 wheel horsepower on a eBay turbo. Um, this will now be going into my Supra. So I'm cleaning up the engine, I'm gonna paint it, put the head back on here, make it look all nice, and then the next step is to pull the engine out of my Supra and pull the oil pan off of that because that's a rear sump and this is a front sump. Convert it over and then get it into the car. I guess I forgot to film a clip explaining what I'm doing here. Um, in this clip, I am pulling off the water pump and the associated hard line that goes around the engine Here I'm pulling off the oil cooler and the oil filter housing. Um, I'm removing a couple pressure sensors there because I actually had a T for an aftermarket uh, sensor. I'm also going to pull the motor mount. And these clips here, I'm cleaning the engine, getting ready for paint. I use Simple Green and my pressure washer. And then I also use almost an entire can of brake clean on this to get it ready for paint. All right, I got the block all clean. So now I'm uh, masking the deck of the block. And this is reminding me why I'm probably gonna pay somebody to paint the Supra because I am not a fan at all of masking. Not to mention, not very good at it, which is probably why I don't like it. Um, I'm not too concerned about the engine block. It will look fine. It's not really the center of attention once it's in the car. I do just want to get it cleaned up and looking a little bit nicer. Since I'm putting all this uh, money into it, obviously. I'm really only masking the deck and this port where your oil cooler goes. I'm not too concerned about anything else on here. Probably gonna put a new oil pump on the front. It's getting a different oil pan. So this is really all I think is necessary. For paint, I'm using VHT Engine Enamel. This is a flat black. Um, you can use the primer with this. I don't think it's necessary. I'm gonna use this whole can, see how far it gets me. Ideally, I think you want three coats on there. along with the girdle, as it's referred to on a 2JZ. This has to come off since I am swapping this to a rear sump to fit in the Supra. Uh, I kind of missed video in some of the steps here, but I think you get the gist of it. Here's the cleaned up head from the machine shop. This is GSC S2 cams, BC springs and retainers, and OEM shimless buckets. Shimless buckets will allow me to rev quite a bit higher and really take advantage of these cams. They also did a valve job on here, surfaced the head, and put new valve stem seals. I have the one and only ARP head studs to go into this. Uh, these aren't their fancy CA625 ones, these are their bottom of the line, I think it'll be fine for this application. Okay, I got the head sat down on the block. Not that easy to do if you buy it yourself. I actually had a buddy come help me. I sat it on there once myself and that was about all I could do. I guess I'm pretty weak. So the next step here is to torque down the head and these are half inch 12 point nuts on these studs. I had to go to Lowe's and buy a socket that fits in there. I had a half inch drive socket, but it would not fit down in the, the, the well there for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this torqued down, get the cams thrown back in it.
Okay, the cams are in and torqued down. So now we're gonna put the exhaust manifold on. Okay guys, got the cam gears on there. All the cam caps are tightened. Exhaust is tightened down. Uh, the next steps here are gonna be, I need to decide if I'm gonna buy a billet uh, timing belt tensioner and a new oil pump. I also need to figure out what's going on with the water pump because my water pump does not have the uh, hydraulic fan set up. I'm thinking about switching to electric fans on the Supra. I just need to figure out if I'm gonna do that or not. So that's a wrap for this video. I appreciate you watching. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this build.